This upgrade to Adagio Ledger version 9.1a contains many significant new features. In older versions, when you had the next fiscal year open for processing, this meant that the post to prior year function was not available. Only two fiscal years could be posted to at a time. In this release, that restriction has been lifted. With the next year batch processing open, I can still access post to prior year from the post menu. Select the batches as you normally would for posting to prior year. If you wish to post to a fiscal year earlier than the immediate prior year, this is also allowed. When you click the post button, you will be given a message indicating if this is in fact what you wish to do. Select the year and click the post button. The posting journal for prior year has been altered so that all of those prior fiscal years will be posted to the same journal. Also note new features for automatically loading only the most recent posting sequence and the ability of adding the company name to either the folder or the file name when you use Adagio ePrint for generating reports to PDF. transaction budget screen has a new find button. In addition to searching for a particular account, you can now do a search directly on the posted transaction details file using a smart finder. This smart finder is built on a new index. This index can be built either when you use it here or immediately after posting batches. This choice is determined with a new option set in the company profile. Depending on the size of your data and the speed of your network, this updating may just take a few seconds or perhaps even a couple of minutes. When the index is complete, you can use the Smart Finder to search for posted transaction details in the same way as you would any other records in Adagio. Select a found transaction detail of interest, and the batch number, entry number, and line number of that detail will be used to locate the transaction in the grid. You can either highlight it or immediately view it. This search is based not only on the current fiscal year but can be done also on any other fiscal year in the system. The transaction inquiry has also had a change. When you look at the transactions, older versions of Adagio Ledger used to have a button called View GL Details in order to see all of the transaction details that made up an entry. Because of the new index, this button is no longer required and you can more quickly view all of the batch entry information directly from the transaction inquiry screen. The entire batch will be listed on the screen below. If you want to see the information based on another account from that same entry, you can just click on it and the information will be shown on the top of the screen. Previous and Next will also be able to show transaction details for that account within the same fiscal year and period. If the transaction was retrieved from a subledger, the labeling for the subledger information is now particular to the program from which it was retrieved, rather than having a generic label. The Financial Reporter also supports the Posted Transaction Detail Index so that you can go one level down from the details file to those details that make up a particular batch entry. Whether you right click and choose Details to go through the fiscal periods to the transaction details or go directly to the transaction details grid, when you locate a particular transaction detail and double click then you can see all of the details that make up a particular batch entry and the details within. The Batch Status Inquiry screen 
now has a number of new features and is much more functional than simply listing the status and the debits and credits of each batch. The posting sequence of posted batches is now shown as a default column on this grid. You can now view the details within any batch, not only for open batches, but also those that have been posted or deleted or even unposted. The details for the particular batch selected will be shown in a grid. You can choose to sort these details in a number of various ways. And you may also choose to send these details to an Excel spreadsheet using Excel Direct. You can view batch details from any of the archive batches, current year batches, or next year batches. Batch recovery is now available from this screen as well. If you use the original location of maintenance and recover batches, this will actually load the batch status inquiry. You are no longer limited to recover just a single batch, but you may choose, if you wish, to multi-select batches, either consecutive or non-contiguous. When you recover batches, you now have new options just like when you copy or move a batch. You can change the fiscal date or period, you can change the reference or description, and all copying, moving, or recovering batches now allows you to set what the particular new batch name will be. The batch listing and posting journal reports are also available to load from Batch Status Inquiry. When you select either a specific batch or perhaps multiple batches, when you choose one of the reports, the batch numbering or posting sequence ranges will automatically be calculated based on those selected batches. have a number of accounts in the system that you would like to remove that have no activity across any fiscal calendar year, it is now possible to remove all of these accounts in a single step from the maintenance menu and using the purge fiscal year process in order to maintain the integrity of your chart of accounts so that there are net debits and credits equal across all fiscal calendar years and periods you must do it all at one time from purge fiscal year. When choosing to purge the oldest fiscal year, there is a new option that says Delete Accounts with No Activity. After the purge fiscal year process is run, a second pass is used to determine these accounts. Only accounts that have no posted transactions, no net changes, and no opening or closing balances other than zero in any fiscal calendar year in the system. The Account Active flag is not required to be set in order to delete accounts here. A tip, if you only want to delete inactive accounts and don't want to delete any of the other information, you can choose to unselect net changes and details and only choose to purge the budgets and forecasts from your oldest fiscal calendar year. When this process is done, it will go through the purge fiscal year process as usual but it will go through a second pass and indicate how many accounts have been deleted. A data file, SD App Log, which logs deleted accounts as usual, will also li list all of the accounts that have been removed from this process so you can see what has been selected. a list of particular applications, including Adagio Ledger, that you will allow posting to a specified account. There is a new option in the company profile called Enable Source Code Restriction that will allow you to set up these lists. When you edit an account, a new option Restrict Subledgers is available and selecting this will add a new tab to the screen. On this tab, it lists 
of all the available Adagio programs that are installed and available to retrieve subledger transactions from. You also can see Adagio Ledger from the list and third-party applications. Select those programs that you would like to allow posting. Those not selected will be prevented when you attempt to post the Retrieve Subledger batch in Adagio Ledger. So for a batch that has a particular account that is restricted, if you attempt to post, you'll get an error on those entries where the posting detail entry was restricted. The posting journal and the batch status will show those that have a problem.